Hey, what's happening? You once your Deems coming at you guys with another Star Wars Galaxy's Edge product unboxing and review. This time we're going to be taking a look at Darth Vader's castle. Back when I had asked you guys as a community what you wanted to see, you guys voted number one for the Peace and Justice lightsaber, which we already covered this week. And of course, the second highest voting is, of course, for Darth Vader's castle, which I was actually surprised about that some of the other items on the list you guys didn't really care to see as much but this was definitely the second highest one for sure so we have it here now two things quickly over is that i managed to get the power and control pen that you could get from sabi's workshop so i just need one more to complete the sets and a little update in regards to the lightsaber stand by red five customs is that together with him and of course thanks to some help with the community over on the discord page that i follow which a link to that is in the description down below we may be getting some custom lightsaber stands that have the logos and stuff from the uh, basically what you see on the pins from sabi's workshop so there'll be one for power and control elemental nature and so forth but once we get more up-to-date information i'll let you guys know or if i get some sent my way to share with you guys we'll pretty much go from there Anyways, back to Darth Vader's castle. So here it is. Now this does have a little bit of weight, not as crazy as the General Grievous mask that we took a look at last time. And to go and give you an idea in terms of the box height, the box stands at about 14 inches in terms of how tall it is and 11 inches wide. So not too bad. I'm pretty sure the castle is a little bit smaller than that. Uh, but on the back side, it goes over its main features, which is Darth Vader's castle with light effects. Better have some light effects. It'd be cool if I had sound effects too, but just lights. Um, but over here it's showing us where the light switch is. And then of course the light up effects, which will be for the front and back side of it. And there is some dialogue down here, which says a few had the honor of seeing Darth Vader in his sanctum on the volcanic surface of Mustafar. This piece of replica of the Sith Lord's obsidian stronghold, which he had built on the site of his most stunning defeat. And that is indeed true. So let's go ahead, open this up, and take a closer look. Now this one I've already pre-cut, so we don't have to worry about wasting any time with this. All right, so there we go. Put this down here. Ooh, almost dropped that there for a second. All right, so before we get started, I got my gloves here, which I am not gonna put on because this is actually my item, so we don't have to, or I'm not you know, gonna be too careful with it. Let's go ahead and try to remove this. Ooh, boy. You know, when I saw this on display, I wasn't too sure and uh, do keep in mind that this does retail for like $200, but with my 20% uh, discount with my membership, which actually did apply to this, this came out to be around 160, which I felt like maybe 150, 160 is a pretty good deal. But I mean, until I actually have hands on, I can't say for sure just yet. And I like the messy foam, styrofoam that I get to deal with. All right, so let's go ahead and unwrap this. Want to be careful because of the tips of these, so you don't want the plastic to get caught on that. All right, can you guys see that? Uh, let me go ahead and uh, bring the camera closer one second. All right, so I have everything out of the box and I took the opportunity to see how this looks in the dark and I have to say I am quite impressed, but we'll get into that in just a moment. So inside the packaging, all you have is the statue. On the very bottom is a compartment to install three AA batteries, which was actually already included. I just had to remove a plastic tab to utilize the batteries already pre-installed. So anyways, let me go ahead and flip the switch, which is over here on this side. So once you flip the switch, the lighting effects will turn on. And to go over in terms of the details that I've seen, especially in the dark, is for one, the areas where the lava is located and sculpted in look really, really good. So I was actually quite impressed with how realistic the lava appears to be. So I'll try to do my best to capture it on camera. And I also like the edit effect as far as colorization on the rock detail here. 
especially up here because you got the yellowish orange details so it's indicating that there's a lot of heat being dispersed in this initial area and the other cool thing too is that on the very front here is that there's these little cracks and crevices where you could see some of the light go through there which is great so it's like a nice attention to detail making this especially from the frontal angle here pop out even more and like I said, over here on the side here would be the switch to turn it on and off. And then on the back, you have more lighting detail over here where the windows are located and then where the lava is spewing out from the back here. So my advice personally, if you're going to have this in a display case, is to have a mirror behind this. So that way you could see all the detail, because if you don't have a mirror here, you're going to miss out on that extra detail. Uh, but again, it's kind of up to you in terms of how you display your collectibles, just my personal advice in general um, but like i said i do like how everything looks the lighting effect makes this pop out and the important thing especially when displaying this particular piece is to ensure that your lighting as far as where this is going to be put in is fitting because if you have it in a brightly lit condition it's not going to stand out and look as cool but if you kind of dim the lights down to where you just have a little bit of lighting shining onto this with the light up effect then this is going to pop out very very well in a display case nonetheless and i guess while we're at it before we uh kind of end the video here uh the initial height of this piece outside of the packaging is just uh almost 11 and a half inches and as far as how wide with the base it is almost 10 and a half inches wide so it's a very good size and as far as is this worthy of getting uh it's kind of personally up to you if you are someone who is a die hard darth vader fan easily worth it if you know someone who happens to have an annual discount uh or who happens to have an annual membership and has something like a 20 percent discount definitely utilize that to get a much more of a better deal i feel like 200 dollars is kind of pushing it a little bit more but you know disney you know they have stuff there and some stuff is a little bit overpriced than others but again if you can get it for the 20 percent off deal then i'd say easily go for it but again if you don't have that option then 200 dollars it's pretty much up to you. I like it as far as the material goes. Uh, it seems to have like one of those heavy duty rubber type finishes going on here. As far as the castle, I'm not sure what this is made of because it doesn't feel like plastic, but it doesn't feel like rubber. So I feel like maybe this has some type of resin detail. But again, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. And stay tuned for the next review because I think the only thing that I have left from the last haul video would be to check out the Jedi gear set. Until then, I'll see you guys on the next review.